today we're going to talk about factoring. And one big thing a lot of students struggle with is factoring. Because when we first learn it, a lot of teachers teach guess and check. Students like guess and check because sometimes it works out really easily, really quickly. But other times, it might take 5, 10, 15 guesses in order to get the one that works out correctly. Then you've got to work with your signs and get your signs to fit into whichever configuration they're supposed to fit into. Many students, after the third try, some maybe the fourth, will get extremely frustrated, give up, and assume that it does not factor. The way I'm going to teach is called the AC method, and it's going to use grouping. It will work every single time. If the polynomial happens to be prime, there is a way to know for sure, 100%, without a doubt, that the polynomial is prime. So you know that you're getting it right every time. The AC method will work on those polynomials where it's easier to guess and check, but it also works on those polynomials where it's really, really difficult. So the AC method keeps it consistent throughout all of your factoring problems. So the first thing we need to do is you can only use AC method with three variables, or three terms, I'm sorry, three terms. We've got a 2x squared, we have a 19x, and we have a 35, so three terms. First thing is with any type of factoring, the first thing you should always do is see if that there is a GCF. So we have a 2 and a 19, right off the bat, nothing's in common between the 2 and the 19. There's not a variable in all three of them. There's not a GCF. There's no numbers in common, no letters in common, no GCF. You always make a note of it. You won't forget to check it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say, what is A times C? Now make sure when you're doing AC, it has to be in order. X squared must come first, the X must come second, the constant number all by itself, no variable must come last. AC, you're going to multiply the first coefficient by the last coefficient, numbers only. 2 times 35 is 70. Okay. Then you want to identify what B is as well. The AC method uses AC, but it also uses B. So B is your middle, that is your 19. Okay. Then we're going to create a chart. And in this chart, you want factors of AC, and you want the sum of those factors. Okay. So we want the factors of 70, and then we want to add those numbers together. And you want your adding, your sum, to be B. So when we do our factors, you want them to add to 19. So one way to do this chart to keep everything consistent, so I'm a big fan of consistency, is I'm going to start with the number 1 every time, forever and always, without fail. That's going to make sure if it happens to be prime, you know. So we have the number 1. And you're going to ask yourself, 1 and what number make a positive 70 when you multiply? 1 is 70, right? If I add them together, 1 plus 70, that gives me 71. That is not B. So we tried number 1, it didn't work. Try number 2. 2 times what number gives us 70, gives us AC? 2 times 35. Okay, if I add those together, I get 37. Still not B. You're not done until you found B. So what didn't work, two didn't work, try the number three. Three does not go into 70. What about the number four? Four does not go into 70. Number five ends in a zero, so five should go into it. So 70 divided by 5, it's going to be 14. If we add those together, we get 19. It's our B.
Yay! We're not done yet. We still have quite a bit to do. All we're going to do is we're going to take these two numbers and instead of using 19x, we're going to make a new B. So we're going to keep our A the same, 2x squared, and instead of writing 19x, we're instead going to have 5x plus 14x. That's still 19x, right? All we've done is uncombine like terms. So plus 5x plus 14x. Your C, your 35, that's going to stay the same. Okay. And from this point on, we're just going to do grouping. So for grouping, we're going to take the first two and make them into a group. And we're going to do GCF. Two and five, there's no GCF. However, there's two X's and there's one X. So your GCF is an X. In parentheses, we're going to divide. <coughs> two X squared divided by X, that leaves you with the two X. Positive 5x, don't forget your signs, divided by x, leaves you with a positive 5. Okay? Your second ones, do a GCF. That's your second group. 14 and 35, both divisible by 7. Not just 7, but a positive 7. Make sure you get a plus sign coming down. Always, whatever this sign is, should always be whatever your first sign was. No x's in both, so we're going to skip past the variables. 14x, a positive 14x, divided by a positive 7, gives me a positive 2x. Positive 35, divided by a positive 7, a positive 5. Once you get to this point, your parentheses inside of them should be the same. If they're not the same, one of two things has happened. More than likely, we got the wrong GCF from the step up top. Or, we got the wrong numbers. Make sure they add, watch your signs. If B was a negative, you'd have to make B a negative. You would need a negative 5 and a negative 14 to get a negative 19 if B were negative. Since it's not, we don't. But you do have to be very careful with your signs. Okay? Now we have this plus this. We're going to GCF one more time. Our GCF here is just our parentheses. So anytime we took the GCF, we wrote it once, open parentheses, and wrote what was left over. So we have our GCF is the parentheses. We're going to write it once. We're going to open parentheses. If I take this away from that term, all that's left is an x. If I take it away from this term, all that's left is a plus 7. Then you have it factored. But factoring is something we struggle with. So it's extremely important that you know how to check your work. You want to make sure you got this problem right before the teacher takes a red pen to it. So to check, we're going to multiply 2x times x, 2x squared, 2x times 7, 14x, 5 times x, 5x, and 5 times 7, 35. Combine like terms. Is that what we originally started with? 2x squared plus 19x plus 35. Yes, your answer has the parentheses in it. Make sure you know how to factor. It's extremely important. We don't want anyone to get into college algebra without knowing how to factor. Make sure you know how to factor.